Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and I am about to set out on inflicting as maximum of potential insanity damage to myself as I can. I am going to go ahead and start building the armor sets that came in the new Kingdom Death Gambler's chest. So, let's talk about these. We've got three armor sets that are included in the new box. We have the Death Armor, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, just the Death Armor, which is what this frame is. We have the Bard Armor, and then we have the Crimson Croc Armor as well. So the three monsters, the Smog Singers, the King, and the Crimson Crocodile are going to be the quarries for those respective kits. Now what's interesting is when you get these, and I am hoping beyond hope that we are going to see multiples, or not multiples, but uh, uh, separate releases of these kits. They're actually labeled male armor one and female one. As you know, we get two male, two female survivors for each armor set. That's always been the way it is, except there was, what, a bonus one, I believe, with the White Lion in the original starter box for Monster. But um, I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering. I believe it was pretty much the same case. Maybe it wasn't as laid out as nicely as this, but all of these pieces are going to be your male and female for that sprue, and then you're going to have an accompanying sprue. So this is the barred one. And you can see, I feel like there's almost more options this time around than there were previously, which is kind of wild. And considering that these are more in a narrative style sculpt, um, I am absolutely going to be wanting some multiples of these. Could you go and magnetize these up if you are insane enough? Absolutely. Am I going to do that? Absolutely not. But then my other thought is, what can I do with these parts and all of the previous existing armor kits that I have? And I'll be honest, I've got a lot. So I'm wondering if I can mix and match and kit bash at least some of the single-handed stuff. I'm really curious how compatible these pieces are going to be with what we already have. Very, very curious about that. And I mean, the fact, if this is just the sprue number one, and we've got at least how many faces right there. With the sprue number two barred armor, you can see there's just as many heads. So I, I'm, I'm at a loss as to what we're going to be able to do with this. I feel like there's going to be a lot of extra bits. So that's a good sign. Tons of weapons, and that's just the bard kit. I'll be honest, the death armor is the one I was the most looking forward to. And if you guys have sprues of it you don't want, by all means, send them my way. <laughs> there's just some neat looking parts here to play with. And again bunch of different head variations. We've got, you know, long hair, we've got short hair, we've got helmets. Just a ton of stuff. And these are all laid out, so if you're not sure which one is which, they all have the A and the B labeling, so you can kind of go from there. And all this stuff has already been uploaded to the Kingdom Death website at kingdomdeath.build if you want to take a look. And I got to say, the instructions there are pretty nice. I'm probably going to use them to just help move things along. And again, this is just the first brew, and I can already see we've got like three different cloaks there. And again, we have a few more on this one as well. I don't know if you have to have the cloak. Seems like we've got a lot more pole arms on this, tons of swords. The whip is pretty cool. More katars. Just a lot of cool stuff. And then we have the Crimson Croc. And what's interesting about the Crimson Croc frame is it's just about double the size of a regular one. Now we only get a single Crimson Croc frame, but as you can see, there is a lot of stuff on it. That's half the fun, I think. And again, you have A, B, C, and D on here. So it shouldn't be too complex in terms of figuring out what goes with what. I don't remember if this 
jacket is mandatory for one of the bodies or not. We have what looks like the remains of a crimson croc head. I mean, there's just a ton of weaponry and just a ton of little bits everywhere. We've got lanterns. That is a nice looking guitar. Quivers, sickles, pole arms, helmets, great blades, katanas, axes. The whip's looking pretty cool too. I don't know about you guys, but when I build my survivors, it does tend to follow the rule of cool. I don't care if it's necessarily what the actual model is equipped with, but that's what they're getting because they want to look cool. And I'm almost at the point where I could probably just field an entire Kingdom Death Warband for whatever skirmish game I'm playing. <laughs> like for like the entire 30, 40 guys now at this point. I think as of the moment of me filming this, the only thing I have left to paint in the original box would be the Phoenix Armors. I think everything else is done at this point. So good thing I got my uh, gambler's chest here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to build stuff, and I'm going to see if I can... Well, well, let's start with this before I start experimenting and seeing what we can do with the older kits, too. But that's coming as well, one of these days. So let's see how they turn out. Sit tight. So we had a chance to take a look at the sprues. Now it's time to see what we built. Start off with one of our barred armors here. This was a pretty straightforward build. Um, and... What's interesting is all of these new models, for whatever pose they're in, in whichever gender we're looking at, everybody has what boils down to a base pose. So you can see here, it's the torso and the legs for the most part. Some of the kits, like the death armor, that one's a little bit different. There's a couple little extra funky parts. Got some shades of building dragon king armor, and we'll talk about those in a sec, but since I've got my smog singer bard here the big issue that i had wasn't so much building them but figuring out what i was going to end up building them with and this is my big issue with these kits they're quite devious in the way that they're designed because for the most part the arms are really going to only work with one body now you could see here that like these are the male bodies I built both of the female ones, and they're keyed completely differently. Yes, they're not completely cleaned up, but that's okay. We'll go back and fix things, because I wasn't 100% decided on how I wanted to build them. Uh, let's take a look at this body, for example, because he's an interesting case. He had an actual set of extra legs in a totally different position. These legs are designed to basically have him hold one of the grand weapons. Um, this is all the leftover junk that he can use. Now he's one of the only models that actually has the guitar-like weapon, I don't remember the names, as well as the cymbals. Okay, the heads, there, and that's the other thing, most bodies have like six or seven different heads, it's kind of wild. He also has this pole on, which is probably what he's going to end up with, or possibly the guitar, I'm not 100% sure. Where is my other female Model, I am looking, I am looking, I know she's here somewhere, because I know I built her. Ah. With the sax. Smacks, I believe it was called. So again, I need to clean it up a bit, but you can see here, this is like one of seven different heads, and she's interesting in that she has a variety of different arm positions, because depending on which weapon we choose it's going to require completely different arms and none of the other arms on any of the other bodies are going to end up in a position that's going to be holding that weapon as so now some of the other stuff okay now that's croc things i'm looking at here i thought i grabbed some of the other musical weapons and i guess i did not that's okay for the other male body and you can see here what's left over uh, quite a bit. So like these clarinet weapons, that's only available for the girl with the smacks, I believe, if that's the correct name of the weapon. She also has one of the loots. Uh, both females have this option for this kind of double-bladed weapon. Now some of these weapons like this, you can see it's just a hand attached to the hilt of the weapon. That's going to be an easy one to probably stick on another survivor. Some of these are a little bit more complex. 
I could have sworn we had one of those xylophone things with two hands on it, a smaller smacks, some more of those hammer things. So there's a lot of options. I guess this isn't the best one to complain about compared to some of the others. The ones that I had a real issue with were the croc armors because the poses that the croc armors are in are quite dynamic for one thing. You've got this guy lurching forward and he is the only one that has this blade. You got this guy kind of hunched over again he's the only one that has this blade and he had a variety of axes. Where are the ladies? Oh. This model is the only one that has the katars available, as well as the bladed tonfas, which were interesting. I am looking for them now. Of course, when I want to find them, I have a stack of weapons here, just for this purpose to show you guys. That is the only pair of hands, and yes, I know it's kind of a mess. That's the only pair of hands. She has those. I forget who had the whip. I've got a variety of axes laying around. Um, this one, I mean, that might be a king's weapon. I'm not sure for the death armor. Maybe not. Anyway, she's also the only one that is equipped with a bow for the crimson crocodile. Now, I cheated, and I shaved down the hand, and we're just going to glue that on her back, because she also has the quiver, and there's an empty slot on her back that I can't find anything else to fit in. I guess we wanted to, like, stick a weapon back there. She also had these darts that I think go there. I'm actually not 100% sure. They had an indentation that kind of matched, so I went ahead with it. She's also got this weird, funky shield-like armor on the one arm. There was another one for this guy, but I couldn't find a good pose with his two-handed weapons to include that with. Again, some of the other random weapons that only certain models are going to be able to use. We have another great sword grand weapon. These clubs. Although, oh, oh. Silly me, I forgot the last model. Again, also, this girl, only one with a scythe, but she also is the only one who had an axe and that hammer. And I think this blade. Maybe, I don't even know anymore. That's the thing, is, so there's specific hands, and they're only going to really fit on specific bodies, as we could see with the earlier bard armor, the way it was keyed up. And I went ahead and built a couple of the death armors. So this is the only, uh, was this the Regicider? I don't remember, they all have like crazy names. He's got the only one of those. And then there's another hammer that is only available for him. And some of the hands, especially in the death armor, have larger gauntlets attached to them. Like so, which is going to be more of a pain attaching things in there. But it's just something to be aware of moving forward. One of the female ones. Now the only thing is these had a lot of little extra bits that needed to be attached. The plate in the front of the cloak, the faces on the shoulders, the shoulder pads. On some models you need them, on some you don't. The little faces that look like coins right here where my thumb is underneath the pole arm and then these faces hanging on hooks as well. Those are all individual pieces. So of the armor sets, these are probably going to be the most intensive. My favorite of the bunch. I'm an absolute sucker for great swords when it comes to Kingdom Death. And I still have... Where did I put it? I don't know. There, there it is. So here is the last of the female sets. I think it's a female set. I don't even know. Yeah, it is. Okay. 
you can see here, I want to say this is the only sword option available for that model. There is another katana for one of the men. This is the only whip hand available. So again, if you really want to try swapping, you're going to have to really do some swapping on your own. There is going to be a little bit of conversion here and there necessary, I think. I want to say that's the only right-handed blade. I could be wrong. Are these the same axes? They look like it. Oh, this is a one-handed version versus a two-handed version, possibly. So you're going to have to really make some choices about how you want to build these guys. And to me, that's hard. <laughs> I, I am absolutely of the mind that if and when we see some of these kits available as individual purchases or for those people that start parting them out on eBay or whatever, I am absolutely going to be double dipping on some of these. Especially, I think, the Crocodile and the Death, the King's Armor. I'm really liking the designs. And, I mean, everybody kind of stands out and looks very unique compared to each other. I think there's a lot of dynamicism in here, and I really like what we have to work with and it even gets me more excited for what we've seen from Gen Con and all of the Wave 4 stuff that's coming since the plastics are all done. Uh, it's some neat things. And if you don't want to build them, just send them on my way. Uh, I know some people have been curious how large these are in comparison to some of the previous kits. So grabbing some of the models that are at least standing the most upright. One from each kit. I do happen to have at least a White Lion kit. And you can see there that the barred armor especially is, is significantly taller, I feel like. Grabbing what looks like Screaming Fur. I mean... You know, the base kits, they're about the same. I, I would imagine if you have everybody on the table together, it won't be too much of an issue. Oh, please don't break. That would be sad. Green Knight armor. Still kind of small, but I mean, the barred armor also has that crazy, funky smog stuff coming off the top. Grabbing some of the later plastics. The Gorm armor doesn't look as big as imposing as it used to. Come on, some Dragon King armor. No, they're definitely smaller. They are definitely smaller. How about grabbing some random plastics? We got Fade in there. Was this the Detective Twilight Knight? I don't even remember what she's called now. She seems a bit tall. Fade seems kind of short these days. Our Echoes of Death. Was it the Sniper? I don't remember what she was now. I mean, she looks like she'll be right in line. She was a pretty chunky model, too. I don't know about you guys, but I'm absolutely excited to get that Echoes of Death 4. Looking forward to that one. Grabbing one of our original survivors you can see there's a bit of a size difference there oh man but considering the age of some of those kits now i mean it, it's not all that surprising i guess when you think about it things have gotten bigger and bolder over the years i'm just gonna grab my dragon king armor here See, I think when they're in different positions, it's a little bit easier to see that they're not as big. They don't look as gigantic. Some more than others. Grabbing another of the gold standard for big models these days. Conquest figure. Actually... <laughs> The Conquest guys might not be bad stand-ins for survivors at this point. If you wanted something unique and different, if you have access to some of these models. 
I mean, I know it's a completely different aesthetic, but in terms of size and scale, I think they'd fit in pretty nicely. Heck, you know what? Some of the city-state stuff would go pretty well with uh, stuff like the Phoenix armor. Even then, they don't look as bad. Something to think about. I gotta say, though, overall, I am really liking what I have built. And for the most part, what you can find on the build website for Kingdom Death as of the time of me posting this, not everything is up there and not every variation is even available. Uh, the Crimson Croc armor wasn't even posted yet. There's no pictures. I had to go off of old update photos just to get an idea. So, honestly, I didn't think they were that bad. Uh, I would suggest just follow the letters at least. And that would probably be able to get you through about 99% of it. You know, there's always those hedge cases of funky arms where you need them for a certain position. But I don't think there were that many for the Crimson Croc. The Bard armor's got a lot more kind of weird hand variations. So, just something to think about. There's also this random dagger, and it was listed with him, but I have no idea where it went because it wasn't in any of the photos. <sighs> so yeah, I think the only real disappointment is the modularity that we had with the original kits is not as noticeable with these, but I, you know, you're also getting more in terms of just interesting and dynamic poses you're getting a lot more variety per model and if you are a glutton for punishment and want to buy multiples of these and if you're weird like me um you absolutely can come up with a bunch of different designs and have everybody looking completely different and to me that's really cool uh, it's just a shame that we only got you know one set of you know four figures for each gambler's chest. But considering what some of us paid for those gambler's chests, also, I shouldn't be too negative and complaining about that because i got to say, you know, I, at least for me, I got my money's worth um, and just the sheer amount of stuff. And speaking of stuff, uh, since I'd like to wrap this up, whatever you guys are interested in me building and tackling, if you want to see me actually go bit by bit and try to build this and hopefully be able to edit out all of the swearing and finger gluing together, uh, we could try that. If there's specific things you guys would like to see, like I said, let me know. You want me to build one of the monsters next? You want me to build some of the named figures? You tell me. I, I will be at your command in that regard if I don't just build it all anyways, which I will, but I'll let you guys decide the order. So, yeah. With that said, then, this has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.